Nightfall has arrived. And now, we must return to the dark back alley and look for Sir Candy Cane. The elusive one. The well, legend has foretold that if you enter the back alley, rotate 360 degrees four times and whisper the words Candy Cane, Candy Cane, Candy Cane. He'll appear in your high school bathroom mirror. I did not expect this, but this is fine. I don't know if these guys will ever learn, but I don't think that they stand a chance. Any longer. Jeez. Don't worry, team. While you're all preparing your war cries, I got this. I wonder if there's a way to uh, isolate their war cries. Like, if you could find those sound files within the game's install directory or something. Candy Cane. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? Desade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Legate or no legate. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. K. You should have said leg it or not. And Godspeed. Are we fighting? We have enough information. Oh. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Okay, Petrus. Ooh, look at that. He is super stoked on the dirt. He loves it. Okay. Okay, fine. Um, I think we're going to go and talk to her. I thought we might be able to link these together. It appears that that will not be happening. However, we don't have a way out back there either. Um... We now know that she is involved in this, in this, uh, match fixing. And other unsightly behaviors that would be unbecoming of the Mother Cardinal. But we'll let Petra stew on that for a minute. While we look to confront her about these tablets. Now, remember how this all went down. We we ran into the the group that had found these tablets and the main guy, I can't remember his name at the moment. He was saying, "Wow, no, all the all these missing people from our from our group, they're all they're all dead," which was true. He's like, "We shouldn't even worry about them." The problem is that he killed them. <laughs> And he wanted to cover up what was in these writings, which is eventually, eventually, or essentially saying that this Saint Matthias, or Matthias, the guy that these guys all essentially worship based on his teachings and his life, at the end of his life, he 
basically converted to the natives' uh, beliefs. And some people wanted to cover that up, some people ah, did not. Your Excellency, we were eagerly awaiting your arrival. Sister Eugenia was just recounting me the tale of your achievements and telling me about the incredible discoveries you've made. These relics shed a new light on the last years of our founder. It all demonstrates that he hadn't evangelized the islanders, but on the contrary, he would even have adopted some of their rituals, merging the cult of the enlightened and the cult of nature in a single dogma. These discoveries, if they can be verified, are extraordinary. But they also represent a great upheaval that could harm our nation. We must first verify their authenticity. You are the only ones who entered this cave. Could what you have witnessed be a falsification? Well... The cavern we discovered is located in a very remote place. There is no islander village nearby. It contains some ruined dwellings. But clearly no one has lived there for a very long time. Fraudsters would inevitably have left traces of their passage, and we have not found any. The entrance to the cave was protected by one of those giant creatures that the natives call a Nardike. These guardians usually protect sacred places and let no one enter without a fight. I had to kill this beast, which leads me to think that nobody had entered the cave for a very long time. Fair point. We discovered ancient frescoes on the walls of the cave. They represent Saint Matthias without a doubt. He is depicted with his chaplet. In one, he is praying for the divinity of the island. In the other, his face was being painted by a native. I understand how shocking these discoveries are, but their antiquity proves that they are genuine. The tablets found at the site, however, attest that our founder had not abandoned the cult of the enlightened. He simply saw it as two different reflections of the same divine power. Yeah, light and the earth or something, could he be said. authentic, Your Excellency, but we only have your word to convince us. The political and religious impact of these discoveries will be unprecedented. We risk schism, civil war, and who is to say that this is not a plan to weaken us? There's our level three intuition. We had talked about this recently, saying we've never seen one. <laughs> Before I click this button, let me just pray to the holiest Jake Sullivan, creator of most recent XCOMs. May the odds be in our favor. It seems that you only see the negative aspects of this discovery, but the reality is very different. By integrating some of the natives' beliefs into your dogma, you could build an alliance with them, something no other nation has managed to achieve before. It is a good argument, oh. Your Excellency. I hadn't thought about that. Your Eminence. All of this is grotesque and dangerous. The congregation is clearly trying to ridicule us. Even if these frescoes are real and old, who's to say they represent reality? This is surely the naive vision that the islanders had of our founder, nothing more. Our duty is to bury all this in order to preserve our nation from the heretical beliefs of the savages. Well... <laughs> You would say that. You were so eager to bury our discoveries that you were ready to bury us with them. A group of the Order Luminous attacked us while we prepared to come here. Really? Your Eminence, I assure you that I had no idea we would never harm a diplomat. It was probably the desperate action of an overly fervent group. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah alas, sure. It is a fair reflection of what will happen if these discoveries are made public. You are responsible for the members of the Ordo Luminous on this island, Domitius. I am counting on you to ensure that this kind of act never happens again. I can't believe it. She's... Your eminence. <laughs> keeps him around. We are faced with a crucial choice for our nation. What does a man of faith do in such a dilemma? He prays and places his trust in the one who came before him and has shown more wisdom. Saint Matthias shows us a new way. If we are believers, can we really turn our backs on him? You surprise me, Petrus. You who are always so political, yet your words seem sincere. You give me something to think about. Thank you. If my people knew that the great sage they had long respected is the same man as your saint, 
and that your priests respected our culture as he did, they would be welcomed here as brothers. And the Eden we wanted to build would be everywhere. You speak sense, princess. Does anyone wish to add anything? Well... Yeah, everyone knows that it's, the weight of the secret is huge, but... I understand your doubts about the future that will inevitably be caused by such a revelation. You hesitate just as Saint Lucius did to tell us about the journey of his master. Yet he revealed what he knew, and his words still guide Teleme today. Thank you for your testimony. I will now retire to think about everything and make my decision. After careful consideration, Thank God. I have decided that it is my duty to reveal your discoveries to the world. It will take years for our theologians to study all of this, but our dogma must follow the path opened by Saint Matthias. Thank you, Your Eminence. I would be delighted to help with the study of these relics. I don't doubt it, my dear. And I would like you to take me to see this cave. I look forward nice. to worshipping at the place where our holy founder ended his days. As for you, Your Excellency, I thank you for the help you have given us. Your sincere insight has encouraged me to make this difficult decision. It was my pleasure. Let me also thank you, Your Excellency. Without you, we would still be in the shadows. <laughs> Holy reputation, Batman. So, we're officially friendly with Telemi. Something I did not expect to ever happen. <laughs> Yet, here we are. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. So I imagine that if we could have used the intuition, that that would have also resulted in her kind of saying the same thing, where, yeah, we'll go check this out. Because the intuition was to get her to go look at the cave herself, right? I'm just going to head back to our place and see what they've given us. Uh, it's likely going to be something that Petrus could benefit from. And then we'll decide where we're going to go next because it seems like... Let's take this. It seems like... Uh, oh, stuff here too. Petrus is going to bring it up when he wants to. How he wants to handle this whole uh, Mother Cardinal situation. And in a way, I'm kind of glad that we could do that before we slam her with this other information because I can't imagine she's going to be all too pleased about it. Ring of the Abess Mother. Petrus, where are you? So he could wear this. It's slightly better. It's slightly better um, stun, but we already have a better situation for him. So, I'm just going to grab this and then we will recycle it. Same thing here. No components. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Uh, this one can go, I think. Yes. Sacrificial sword... Versus the straight saber. Yeah, you can go. And then we'll get rid of these vests. Alright. We might actually have some boots too, I see. We have Inquisitor boots. Soldier boots. I don't know... I wonder if the others could benefit from these boots. I mean, there's some resistances to be had. Definitely not him. Hmm. Let's give him to Afra. And then we'll get rid of these ones. 
Okay, so what shall we tackle now? We have Afra's quests. Talk to Afra and offer our help, which I think we should probably do before we go any further. What got updated here? Oh, it's just the uh, the notes. Okay. So, yeah, we'll talk to Afra and see what she wants to do exactly. Desade. I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual, to study the carvings and offerings there. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Yes, I will. Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. And, as always, we should probably... We should probably take... Siora. Just seems to make a lot more sense. Let's just see. Is there anything happening Green with either of these guys? Friend. Do you need something? Tell me about your family. Were your parents in the guard as well? Yes. And to be truthful, I never knew them. I was entrusted to a wet nurse. I don't know if a we know this about him. Followed the troops. I remember. Don't think so. She was sweet and a good person. She may be the only one who showed me any kind of affection. But that didn't last. As soon as I could hold a wooden sword, I was given a real one and sent to training. Anything else? What is your duty as Master of Arms, besides teaching us how to fight? What was my duty, you mean? It's all in the past now. In truth, you may have guessed it, but my main role was to make sure that nothing would happen to you and Constantine. Without, of course, turning you into some courtiers that are afraid of steel. You have to be considered trustworthy to take on this role. But alas, it isolates you from the rest of the guards. Always at the court, but never really belonging to it. I spent almost my entire time with you without seeing my comrades. Anything else? Hmm. I must leave you. I'm going to talk with each of them just to see if there's any other updates. She's trying to run away from Carance. me. Do you need something? Anything new on the father? About your father? Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago, but this memory is still painful. Mm. So we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything else? I must leave you. It's interesting that some of these subjects linger. In, you know how in most games, once it's addressed, um, it gets removed. Desade, can I do anything for you? Where do you come from, Afra? From Alima near Al Saad. It is but a small town, but there is a particularly renowned observatory there. My parents wanted me to become an astronomer, but I chose the Earth over the sky. I was always more intrigued by life rather than distant stars. Plants and animals fascinated me as a child. For this reason, I left Alima quite early to study in the capital, and I seldom returned. When did you arrive on the island? A little more than two years ago. My master, Dr. Rassili, suggested that I should follow him to Tirfredi. He needed help cataloging all the unknown plants and animals. How could I decline such an offer? There's so much to discover here. Do you she miss loves the discovery. Your city? <laughs> your family, perhaps? No. When I arrived on this island, I immediately knew that it was where I was supposed to be. It's gotta be pretty... I must leave you. Pretty nice. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? See, we already know this story for sure. My dear child, what can I do for you? And same thing, I'll we've heard this story for sure. Take care, my child. Okay, okay, okay. I, ma I imagine maybe after some of the main missions, this is where these guys come into play a little bit more. So let's go to... Kurganau. Kurganau. Whoops. 
It's not listed here. We'll go to one of these camps and then see where we're at. Okay, how close are we? Not bad. There's a few things up to the north that we could check. Let's see. Guys, oh, damn. I'm going to see if I can backstab the big one. Oh, this is risky. Come on. So this must be a little... Yeah, this has got to be a little settlement back here. They have a merchant. Oh, damn. Hold up. Totally blocked this way. Huh. We could wrap around, but that leads me to believe that we may actually end up there at a later point in time. there more weird Having like some weird performance issues out here. Okay, so let's break to the right. Just 
casual hunt. No big deal. Is this soldier's diary page the native group i was asked to watch spends a lot of time in the forest despite my orders i haven't dared to follow them in far too many wild animals prowl around in there i wonder what could push these savages to risk their lives in the woods something back here Uh, elemental seems good. It's a shrine. Nice, 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 nice. I don't know if it's worth dying for, but... We will certainly take it. Uh, so we're kind of working down this way. The backstab would be nice. All the fury generation is really helpful. And I see no reason why we shouldn't just keep going this way. It'd be really nice if the skill altars uh, had variations, like maybe super rare or super infrequently you could find, um, like where it would give you a straight up technique or a talent, I should say, or even an attribute would be cool. Or maybe they just give a level, which would kind of work towards unlocking all of them. Might become a little imbalanced, but I mean, I know people that are abusing the arena to get free levels and all that kind of stuff so if it's there people will use it it's just not my my type of approach all right this should put us close to where we need to be the heart gates We're rich. Okay, now, being a new area... Is this a camp, by chance? I'm gonna have to reboot here, because my performance is pretty bad. That's not normally the case. Nice. We do have a camp. Okay. I'll tell you what. Um, we did get a lot done at the beginning of this episode. The latter half was mostly exploring and fighting. However, um, we're about to start Afra's quest. So we'll, we'll, let's stop here. And then when we return, we'll, um, we'll go into seeing what we can do to help her. I'm going to craft some additional ammo here. 
We actually should buy some hoof fungus the next time we travel. Uh, just so we can make more bullets. But we'll keep an eye out for it. I think it's the stuff that comes from the trees, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.